Okay, so before we start, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to research and write a definition. What is software? So write a definition for software, please. Now, you uh, can take up to 10 minutes. Pause this video, and when you're ready, press play. Okay, welcome back. So what is software? Now, the definition that I have here is software are sorry no sorry is the program and a routine so no are the programs sorry and a routines for a computer or the program material for an electronic device which make it run now an example of this would be excel windows or itunes any of those anything okay so without the hardware um, the software is useless and without the software the hardware is useless so today we're going to look at types of software so you're going to understand the categories of software and discuss the types of software to give examples now by the end of the lesson what I want you to have done is create a leaflet say aimed at year 7 students discussing software um, you can peer assess your leaflet if you want to email it to each other and you can give each other um, two wishes and a star, okay? Meaning um, two ways they could improve and one thing they did really, really well. If you finished early and you've got some extra time, research and create a, pro a poster describing what hardware drivers do. Okay, let's get started. So what is software? Well, it's no more um, basically, a computer, which is the hardware, is no more than a machine with electrical parts, wires, circuits, that sort of thing. And electricity runs through them and they do something. Okay, but it needs the software. And the software is just simply a set of instructions that tells the machine what to do. Okay, so the software depends on the hardware. <coughs> and the hardware... <coughs> depends on the software to make the computer system okay so the computer system consists of both hardware and software so if you had a computer and it had no software in it no windows no powerpoint no games no nothing what would it be just simply that a computer where electricity runs through it and nothing else happens so if we had the set of instructions that tells the machine what to do what can we do with it well, nothing is all we've got is a bunch of code. And where would you put the bunch of code? We well, need to put it on a computer. Now, these are the software categories. So we've got your operating systems, utility programs, and your drivers. Then we've got application software. Okay, so this is the software category, systems and application. Everyday packages you use, Microsoft Office, for example, and basically that would pretty much be it so your system software is your operating system which would be something like windows ios or android and your utility programs are programs such as um, your antivirus software and then your drivers are the software that allows you to use things like your keyboard your mouse and your printers okay and for application software you've also got your web browsing software such as Google Chrome, Firefox, Explorer, and so on. Now, operating systems. So, these are the foundations of the computer. Okay, so operating systems is part of the system software. And all computers and devices have an operating system that they, they simply can't function without one. So the operating system is a program that allows application software to communicate with the hardware, okay? So it's a bit like this. You've got a house, and your house has these foundations, okay? So what the workman would have done was dug a hole, poured a load of concrete in to build the foundations that your house is built upon. Without it, your house is going to sink into the ground and crumble, okay? And it's similar with Windows. Without Windows, you don't have anything else. Okay, so what does it do? Now, this is just some of the tasks that Windows do, okay? So it sorts out where you store your data on a disk drive. 
So when you make a folder, okay, it's Windows that allows you to make that folder. Sorry, not Windows, operating systems that allow you to make that folder and allow you to store it in a folder that you want. They deal with security, like usernames and passwords. So as you know, when you go into school, okay, um, and you log on, it's the operating system that allows you to do that. Organize your files and folders and where they should go. Managing your data transfer from the CPU to the peripherals and the printer. So when you do that command that says file and print, okay, so it's Windows that will send that data to the CPU that goes to the peripheral, which is your printer, and, you know, your work comes out. And it also deals with saving, deleting, and opening and closing the files. Now, none of this sounds particularly exciting. But if your computer didn't do it, okay, didn't work, it couldn't work without it. It's that simple. Okay, so your computer, uh, your Windows, your operating system allows all these things to happen. And you would be pretty frustrated if you couldn't do all these things. Now, there's obviously different types of user interfaces that are part of the system software. So depending on the operating system that you have, um, people need a way of interacting with the machines. So for example, you've got your graphical user interface, your icons right here. So these are all on your smartphones. This is an Android setup and this is um, Windows uh, 8, I believe, I think. May have got that wrong. Apologies. And then, obviously, when you go to things like machines such as ATMs, you've got a menu-driven interface. So the old iPod would have had these, and so would the old iTunes. So as you can see, you would just simply click to go to music, then it would bring up a list of music. Okay? So this is how you interact with the machine. So it could either be menus or icons. Well, that's not strictly true, because you can have gesture-based interface that... Um, goes by the movement of your hands, or you can have voice activation. Okay, so moving on to utility programs. Now these are small programs that do one simple job, okay? One simple thing. So they're part of the system software, and they're designed to do one or two specific but vital tasks and do them very well, okay? So some utility programs may be supplied as part of the operating system. So for example, Windows has Windows Defender, okay? Or you can actually purchase them separately. So here's one here. So this allows you to zip files. So when you usually go onto your, your um, system and you, uh, sorry, one of your folders and you right click and zip it. So it becomes compressed and it can be emailed. Okay, that is a utility program that does that. Another one here is a photo sorter, okay, so it allows you to organize your photos. Um, file rename, this small task that we take for granted, okay, when we right click and rename a file that's named incorrectly like doc1, doc2, doc3. Um, PDF conversion, so when you want to convert a word to a PDF document so no one can edit it and your antivirus software. So these are all utility programs that, as I said, they do one simple, small task. Okay, so what does utility software do? Well, there's some examples that we've um, discussed. File compression, sorting, file renaming, file conversion, converting, like when I've, for example, when I've actually um, recorded this video, this video will go from the raw file that it is and convert automatically to mp4 okay so um, file repair in case they get corrupted disk defragmentation so when you've got lots and lots of fragments of um, files that take up your disk space um, backups and antivirus now application software okay so this is the software you're more familiar with and would be more excited by Okay, so we've got lots of examples over here that you're familiar with. So these do different things. Now, they don't control how the system works at all. Instead, they allow you to do your tasks on a computer, such as if you want to write a letter, make a poster, send an email, um, download a web page, or download files, and so on. So they work through the operating system to gain access to the hardware. Now, there's two types. So you've got custom written, and this is when you get a developer to write software specifically 
for your individual needs or off the shelf software where you, which you can buy in any computer shop or download so an example of off the shelf software would be like these softwares right here okay um but having said that you don't really buy them in a shop these days what well, you can do most people buy them online where well, you can buy them in a shop but you um, end up buying pass key right this is your activity okay so what you're going to do is you're going to use the template provided which you can click on underneath and create an, a leaflet aimed at year sevens to follow success criteria for each leaflet so sorry um, I'll reword that follow the success criteria for each section of the leaflet and ensure that all content is discussed okay so um, now here's some pointers for you here only relevant images please okay and you know I don't want to see purposely pixelated images um, no watermarks font sizes please I'd like them to be around 12 to 14 and font types please use nice font types like this one not these I hate them okay anyway so your leaflet so this is your leaflet template which looks like this so as you can see it's a publisher document if you don't have publisher it's not a problem you can pause this video and follow the template okay and just put it on a word document or powerpoint presentation whatever you have so here we'll discuss application software so discuss what is application software the types examples examples of application software um, back page design which is here address and contact details of the school and thank the reader for reading the leaflet front page design so you can make here the front page of the leaflet and then here is inside the leaflet so write an introduction about software discuss what it is and its categories and discuss the user interfaces operating systems what are they what does it do examples of them utility software what is it what tasks do they carry out examples of them and show images of different um, utility software okay so um, sorry yeah I've operated this though here we go right so that is your task today like I said if you don't have publisher it's fine use another software not a problem okay right very best of luck